This is Getting Crafty with Jesse, and today I'm going to show you how to do something you've probably never done before. Make 3D tiles. These tiles are really inexpensive. They come in sheets like this, and you can easily break them off like this. You can buy them at Lowe's Home Depot, and they're only about $2, which is a really great deal. This is an embosser, and it's a critical part of making these 3D tiles work. Now, I think they're about $20, and you can buy them at Joann's, but if you use a coupon, it'll only be about $10. How it works is it's like a really hot hair dryer. Right here's the on button. After you plug it in, you just click it on, and it doesn't take any time to heat up at all. It'll be hot right away, so make sure your fingers don't get in the way, or you can easily burn yourself. If you don't have an embosser, you could try using a hair dryer on extra high, but Unfortunately, an embosser just really does the trick a lot better than a hair dryer, so I strongly encourage you get one of these babies. You will also need a paintbrush. Now, you don't have to go anything fancy. I think this was like 50 cents. So, just get a small paintbrush where you can scoop up some paint and dab it onto your tile. You'll also need some water and a rag in order to keep your brushes clean so you don't mix your colors and make nasty browns and blacks. Last, but certainly not least, is the paint. I use acrylic paint in tubes that come like this from Joann's, Michael's, or Walmart for the best deal. Now, you can use any color that you want. I have a large assortment of colors, but really just the primary colors would be fine because you can mix them together and make all sorts of colors. These tiles make great keepsakes, and they're really fun to do with your friends. A lot of times when I have my friends come over, we like to get together and paint some of our favorite things so we always remember them. For instance, my friend Haley really loves Barbie, I love Toy Story, and my sister is obsessed with owls. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really fun, simple, and easy tile that everyone will like. 3D. Before I show you how to make a tile, I'm going to show you how not to make a 3D tile. This is what happened when I put too much paint and heated it for too long. Basically, I fried the poor thing. That is not what we're going to do. We're going to make something pretty that you can keep or give away. First, we're going to take our tiles and rip one off. Now it's going to have some gross edges, so we just take our scissors and snip those off. Alright, now we're going to pick any color we want. Because it's close to Easter, I'm going to stick with some pastels and go with purple. So, I'll pour some purple on my plate. Take one of my paint brushes and just paint a coat on top. When you're painting, try to be consistent in the ways that your strokes go and don't go all over the place because that doesn't look good. Now, in order to make it dry really fast, I'm just going to take the embosser and go over it really quick and it'll dry it in literally five seconds. Here we go. Be careful because it's really hot and you make sure you do this on wood or something you don't mind getting kind of dirty because if you do it on paper it could potentially catch the paper on fire which would not be good. Alright now I'm going to put one more coat on top going the opposite direction so it fully covers it. You can see it's totally dry. The embosser does a great job and it saves a lot of time. Okay now I'm going to emboss it one more time. All right. Now here's my base coat all ready to go. Now I'm going to rinse my paintbrush off and dry it so I'm ready to start with a new color. Now to go with my purple, I'm going to pick some other pastel colors that will mix nicely. You want to keep this in mind before you put all your colors together because if you get a bunch of colors that look gross, they're not going to mix well. So I think I'll use a pink, a blue, pastel green, pastel yellow, 
and a kind of orangey color. All right. So now, in order to save paint, since we're only using a drop, I usually shake the paint and then unscrew it. And that little paint in the cap is plenty. So I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm literally just going to plop it down onto my tile. You want to get quite a bit of paint, otherwise it won't puff and it won't look very cool. So let's see. That's probably good. Now keep in mind these are very abstract and you can make a shaper design if you want, but I'm just gonna go with a Picasso type of look. Okay? Now my next color, I'm gonna rinse my paintbrush and dry. Next color is a blue. You kinda wanna work quickly because you don't want the paint to dry before you emboss it. You can even just squeeze it out the top and put your paintbrush in there. It won't hurt it at all. Oh baby. Okay. Now I think I'll start there and emboss these and we'll see what else we'll do after that. Okay. So what you have to do is you just put it over really slowly, hold it for about 20 seconds until you see it start to puff up. And if you want it to pop, the paint will ease out and it'll look really abstract. So we'll just see what happens. It's kind of a mystery every time. Those ones got pretty explosive, so it looks like this one's going to be really abstract. I'm going to add some more yellow to see how it'll look. In there. Just anywhere you want. You can make it abstract as you want. Okay. I put the pink next to the yellow because I think that those two will mix really well. Alright, now let's try to emboss it again. Now some green. Oh no! <laughs> okay. The yellow and the green will look nicely together, or the yellow, or the blue and the green too. Okay. One more time and with the embosser. For my last color, I'm going to add yellow, just in between little dots, not big ones this time. Oh no. <laughs> oh well, that's why we have a rag. Okay, so I'm just going to put little dots to add a little bit, something different. One, two, seven, eight. Kind of looks like the moon. Okay, here we go, last time. And make sure you don't do the last time too long because you could potentially burn the other ones and that's not going to look good. Alright, here we go. To make these pastel colors really pop, I'm going to add a little bit of black around the edges so you can really see the different colors. So I'm going to shake up my black. Pour just a tiny bit. I'm going to pour it this time take my brush. Now you can see that this is a really thin brush and that's what you're going to need to get these intricate details. So I just dip a little bit of paint. And now really it's just up to you how you want to make the designs. I think I'll just kind of make these little sunshine rays and swirls and interesting little abstract things. And this, my 
friends is how you make a 3D tile. Now don't keep it a secret, go out and tell your friends and family. Get one of these sheets, paint away, and eventually you will have so many memories painted on various tiles that you can hang up on the wall and remember forever.